Hey, hi folks, um, just making this wee video here for my friend uh, Chris and for anybody else who um, who's interested. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to make a kind of generic um, layer group um, for you know, quickly adding to your cars. So obviously a lot of the liveries that you see around, you know, people have taken a lot of time and effort in, you know, making them, you know, look good. Um, but if you want to just kind of apply one, you know, buy a car, apply it and just race with it, um, it could be quite easy, you know, it could be a lot easier to uh, have it so that you just um, go into each side and just apply, you know, a pre-made kind of template with your uh, advertisements and why not placed on it. So, um, by Chris's request, I'm going to do it for the Ford Focus RS. Uh, thankfully, I've got one, which I've already got with uh, my own kind of iron brew livery on it. So, uh, I'm going to get in and go to Paint and Custom. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Erase everything on it. And this is a car that I don't really use too often, so let's take it back to pure stock and we'll come out. Um, I mean, obviously, when you go into your designs. Long pause while it waits and loads. You think with the game being a couple of years old by now, they would have actually had this up to speed, but no. So there's obviously my livery. Um, there's ones that I've got just kind of made up. Um, so what we'll do is we'll paint it. Um, in fact, we'll leave it that because I think he says he likes green. I don't know if he likes lime green or no, the normal focus green. So we'll just leave it like that. So to start with. Uh, what I do is I go into um, Create Vinyl Group uh, Obviously got all your different shapes now, I've already made a video before about um, making um, using other vinyl groups as templates um, so if you want to check that out, then you can you can find them. So I'll change the colour of that to uh, black. Uh, load layer group. And again, wait about twenty minutes for it to bloody load. So I'm going to kind of make this one a bit more, no, I'm not going to make it serious serious, but uh, I'm going to try and make it good enough for them. Um, and obviously the bonus about making your own ones um, is you're able to change the colour uh, to suit um, the colour you're going to have on your car. Uh, well, I'll wait a minute, I'll bugger it. Exit without saving. Right, we'll just go to uh, apply decals. We'll get the basic, we'll get the basic layer and done first. So he says he wants a uh, green and um, purple. So uh, choose a kind of Cadbury's purple, which I think I've already got. 
Yeah. Because we call him Cad Captain Cadbury, because he likes his Cadbury's chocolate. And I'm going to make it a half and half. So I always go a bit bigger. Then, because if you're changing it to different cars, so if you take this design and put it on something like a, a Sierra, you'll have to shrink it down slightly height-wise. Um, but then what you'll do is you end up losing the position. You know, you, you end up having to adjust the position of the. We'll show you a bit when it comes to it. But, uh, no, I don't want to spin it. I want to skew it. I'm going to have it going this way, on the roof. And then make sure it lines up roughly. There. And then I could just have it go in the same direction, but because you've lost a lot, you know, a bit more green, you could have it going the opposite way. So. And the back. Straighten that up, even though you don't see the sides. Right, so that's your. That's what I'm going to do for a minute at the moment. Right. I might even put another stripe in there, just to kind of break it up. But uh, yeah, but yeah, I'll do that now. So just copy that layer, move it along, change the size. And a bit closer. And I might even make a, another slightly smaller. Mm. No. no, I think I've just the one stripe's enough. Right. Then I'm going to flip that, aren't we? Right, so you see how the lines aren't quite matching up there. So I'll worry about that in a second. Flip that. Make sure it's lined up correctly. So that matches there. But it doesn't quite match up there. So luckily it's not too much of a problem, but um we could just leave that there now until we've got our all our layers set up properly because if we move that to a different car that might not be visible. So if we just leave that wee bit of purple that's next to the windscreen just now, and then we can hide it um, once we've saved all our layers. So going back to the right side, um, now what I was talking about about making the the layer groups um, to save you having to add each one individually every time. That way you can just, um, I've already got this here made up. So what I'll do is I'll save 
that uh, to the design catalog and I'm going to save it as um, save it as green one because that's who I'm making it for and obviously that saves it saving over my my design I'm making for, what I've made for myself so now we've got the kind of base colours done um, I'm going to load that onto the car because obviously it reverts back to the way it was before I'll stick that back on and obviously this takes a bit of time doing it the first time but once you've once you've got your own kind of um, your lay, you know your layouts made um, it saves you a lot of time in the in the long run so a lot of my cars I've just I've been able to go in and uh, apply um, not manufacture fuck off um, load layer group and I've got them saved uh, there so there's the, the sides that I've made for my for a lot of my Scottish you know designed cars so right hand side top left, front, rear. So what I do is I basically just load them onto my car, line up the the lines so they're so they're about right. Uh, and then I ungroup it and move the layer groups uh, as needed. So I'm not gonna just show the short version, I'll go straight into I'll go kinda of diving deep into how I make the, the individual layers as well. So uh if I go into create vinyl group right, and then back to what I did before um, before I got distracted so I create a box and then I load a layer group now obviously you could search for um search for any manufacturer you want, you know, using the the uh the search bar. Um but if I choose one that's off the storefront then I won't be able to share this to Chris. Uh, so I'll just I'm not gonna use my, my groups that I've made myself uh, my my groups of groups. <laughs> Um, I'll use, let me see, uh, who will I go for, let's choose, t -t -t um, Hmm. <clears throat> the advertisement for my friend there. Right, let's go with Pirelli. Right, so change the colour of it to white. Change the size. To about that width. And then what another layer group. And I'm leaving certain ones to you know, cause I like to have a big advertiser and then the small ones to the side. And obviously the ones the manufacturers that would possibly have made parts for the car. Doesn't have to be, you know. I try to steer clear of, you know. I don't like to put Pirelli and Michelin, or Dunlop uh, and Pirelli. You know, I don't like to put 
you know, same tyre manufacturers together. Uh, other ones I'm not quite sure of, but like oil, I try and stay clear of having more than one um, oil company uh, advertised. So this one's going to be a bit taller. So. Trying to get it straight enough. Load another layer group. Now I'm going to keep dairy milk until last because uh, that will be his main sponsor. Um, Bilstein Springs Change the colour to white I'm going to put that below Obviously, you can make these any. You can choose any um, manufacturer you want. Um, the ones that I usually put in my car: Alpine, Sparco, Recaro, Brembo, Mobile One, Liquid Wrap, which is uh, my friend's company. Uh, they do, you know, vinyl wraps for cars. Uh, Speedline and Dunlop. That's the ones I usually put in my cars. So I try to choose something a wee bit different for Chris. I uh, don't want to make the same um, advertisements on his car as I put on mine. Uh, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Um, get ready. Put that one on because I don't really use that one. And I'm going to leave that with a black uh, fill and the white outline. Just to kind of break it up a wee bit. Position that roughly where I want it. Uh, load another layer group. Uh, put Red Bull on it. Uh, does he drink Red Bull? Let's ask. Do you drink Red Bull? In the meantime, we'll stick. Oh, it must on it. Try and keep them straight, so and that's why I kind of have the the box because then that way that shows me gives me a guide not just to the the size that I want them, but whether or not I've got it sitting straight. Because some of them I've not saved quite, you know, they've been saved slightly differently. So that one's a couple of degrees out. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter too much. Right. And now. Down a bit. Right, 
we need a few more, I think. So what, now what I can do is I just move this. And then load another layer group. And who can I put on this time? Uh, from the key of vibrating trigger trigger fingers. put that on it. Stick that there. And then I'll put one more on and then we'll see how that looks. Let me stick it in the car. Now it doesn't matter if you if these uh, layer groups belong to you or whether you get them off the storefront because what you can do, you can still save groups um, as, um, well, you can still save the, you know, these decals as as one group. It's just you can't share it, uh, obviously. Um, so when it comes to When it comes to doing it yourself, you don't necessarily have to have all these layer uh, or these decals made uh, by yourself. You know, you can get these. Um, you can get these made by anybody, and uh, and you can use them. Um, it just means that you can't share your your um, your livery once you're finished with it. So. What we're going to do is we're going to save that group. And just save it as four rather now. Because it's not really going to matter too much. Right. So then what we'll do is we exit and I'll go back to painting the car. Apply the decals to the car. And we'll load that, and then oh, flipped it, and then we we'll position that roughly where we want it. So uh, maybe would we actually been better having these ones in black or possibly purple? So we'll see what we've got in purple. Tie in with the rest of the car. No, I think we'll just have them black. So again, group that. And then position again here. Right, so now we need big advertising. Oh, in fact, right, okay, here we go. It's a perfect opportunity. Right, so I'm going to put uh, the dairy milk one on it. But this isn't going to be his main sponsor. 
I've just decided there what I'll do is I'll make one from scratch for them. So we'll put dairy milk up here. Put a bit there. And same again there. Position that there. Right, so we need old layer group. And luckily I've already got this one saved. But again, you would just do the same kind of thing here. Uh, as I've shown before in another video. So Chris is for England. So I'll position that about there. In fact, no wait. Uh, save the current car. I need to make sure this is the numbers are going to be straight on it and the same size. So again, we we'll go into our uh, in the create vinyl group. Once it saves. Save. Come on. decals again we we'll go back to the whole it does take a bit of, oh shit I'm in the wrong bit it does take a bit kind of farting around at times but the amount of time that it does save you in the long run so if you're able to take this design and apply it to multiple different cars um, rather than you having to go you know start from scratch um, create vinyl group and we'll go in here Load a layer group. Uh, uh, uh. Load up that one. Okay, so he doesn't he doesn't drink Red Bull. Never mind. Uh, what number are you again? I'll resize this and load layer group. Uh, oh shit, this is where this would be good. Uh, I'm going to load this up just now. bit of cheating there, save me a wee bit of time. So obviously you could use any font you want, you know, even like that. So again, you would, to create something like this, um, you obviously create it and have it saved and whatnot. There. 23, he says he is. Uh, no, fuck it, I'll just t -t 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 apply vinyl shape. And then move it, resize it. And then to make sure it's centered, I just do that. Because I don't always trust the, the coordinates that it tells you. So it might say zero, zero, but it depends on where the rest of the, the rest of the group that you're adding it to is. So I mean, that line's straight, but it doesn't, 
it's not matching up up the top. But it's not really a matter, so it looks straight enough. So I'll just uh, position that around about, say, there. I might actually make the numbers a wee bit wider. Yeah. Right, so that's 3.25. Two looks bigger, doesn't it? Strange. Yes. Two's actually wider than uh, three. No, it's not. Hmm. It's weird. Right. <coughs> Again, what I did before, just make sure it's kind of centred. Resize it. There you go. So, group that all together. See, there's another layer group. And then I'll go back to applying to the car. Resize. Of course, Chris can make his own one of this up, you know. Um, if he decides to make a different, um, you know, follow the kind of guide that I'm making for him. He can make any kind of pattern he wants. This is just kind of a, you know, he can use this lever if he wants. Or he can decide to make his own kind of variation using the same kind of techniques. So uh, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. See, that's that's kind of what I was meaning. You you do that kind of thing. But I've done it too early, so it doesn't matter. Right, so I'll come out with that again. do one more thing and then what we'll do is we'll get these layers saved I know I know they've gone I've lost my viewer right so again go back to uh, create the vinyl group and I'm going to load this up again Gonna ask him. No, I'm just gonna look. I don't need to ask. Just do it so simply. I just jump onto you, you know, the Facebook and have a look to see what the name of his Greenman Oh wait, I think he deleted it, didn't he? Oh shit. Uh, so I'm gonna have to add that ask him. Name of your 
more thing. What's the name of your wallet and company? So, in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll just uh, uh, da, da, da. no, I'm going to use a normal font. I think it was C something G Valentin. Can you just add it in the party, but never mind. Come on, answer me, Chris. Oh no! Oh, the game had frozen there. Change that one to G. Whoops. I dropped my phone. Uh -huh. And then what I could even do with that is because it's going across, because it'll be going across two different um, colours, um, I could change that to. Um, let's change it to white then now. This is just kind of the, the quick and easy way of creating an outline. There's obviously a, a more uh, detailed way, you know, rather than having to use up too many 
um, layers and creating this and obviously sometimes the lines don't totally match and you end up with a bit of kind of um, cutouts like at the bottom of the A if you look at the bottom of the A it looks a bit you know there's like a chunk missing through it but if I was to move down there you end up with you end up with at the top of the V so uh, in fact, you know what, let's just take all that out, apart from that. And group that as is. Uh, save that for, in case I need it. And save that. So I might take these off in a minute, but we'll see. Uh, so exit, and go back to the car, and now apply decals. So now if I add that group that I've just created, right, and now now what I can what I can decide to do is if I'm going to position this up here right, if I do position that there what I'll do is I'll move my dairy milk one down so you can do this with individual cars as well so if you position if you make you know once you've finished doing this kind of thing and you've uh, put your layers on another car and you decide it doesn't quite line up properly, all you do is you ungroup it and uh, move them around. So with this one I'm going to have, I'm going to change this to kind of almost try and match the colour that's on the, the rest of the car. So I'm moving like that, but a bit lighter. Hmm. A bit more green to it I think. Yeah, that'll do. Right. And then um, mirror to the other side. And then flip it. And rotate. Right. And then I'm going to put the dairy milk down here. Actually, I could put it there because that looks a bit better. Okay, it's a different size than that side, but I don't think it'll really matter too much. Uh, and then we've got the back. I'm just going to do something simple for the back. I say simple, it never is simple. So I've already, again, go back to the, you know, if you've got your own layer groups made up and uh, things like that. So here's I can't remember which one you had. Which one did I put on it? I'll no, put the trees on it. Should put that there. And then the front. Oh, yes, forgot about that. We've got a blank area that we can't add in, but never mind. Right, so we'll add a couple more to the back. So, what we've got on the side? Uh, the Gadiri Milk one. Just a Gadiri Milk one there. And we'll stick a fudge. And you put a uh, what the fudge or Chris loves Cadbury's. There you go. We'll stick that up here. And then ungroup 
Da, gehen wir da. And uh, it's not gonna work. Let's so that. And then we'll add uh, um, da, da, da. Add a bunch of twats recent. Change the color to white. Put that along the bumper. I even change that right into white as well. Because now that I've got the. Yeah, that's better. On the top, do the same again, we'll load uh, that one. Rotate it at 90 degrees. Position it down here. Stick it in between the vents and then take his Take the valentin and spin that two hundred and seventy resize and position here. I'm gonna change colour. And I think this time we'll make it purple. Yeah. And to the front, uh, maybe add um, Oh, the wee, here comes a fudge. <laughs> ah, shit, why did I do that? Change that to <laughs> black. That out, and I'll just leave the fudge. Aha, right, okay. So here we go again. Here it goes to the lines. This is where what you do is you just paste that. Now, obviously, you don't have to do this with every car because um, some cars have got different you know, edges to the, to where the uh, group is, so, uh, add another fudge ring the other end. Because like so, like to give it a nudge in the fudge. to let people know that we're there. Around that side. Right, that's lined up a bit right. So, this is roughly just a kind of a quick, I say quick, it's taking 50 minutes, but let's say Chris was happy with that, 
Might not be, but we'll see. So we'll group that as a whole layer. So obviously, um, yeah. So, uh, save layer group. What side one? Left side. Save layer group as. Left. Now, other fronts would be different, so, but let's just save this as, because again, it depends on, depends on which car, different cars have different boundaries, so that's why what you do is you ungroup it and then you, you move uh, each individual can I'll show you in a minute. Group. Save. Top. Group. Save. Rear. Oh, and it's got wing as well. Oh. Right, okay, so so obviously this has not got a painted. It's a different wing, but just in case if we go to add different body parts on it, um, if we didn't, if we didn't create a, a purple for the wing, um, you know, so if we go and tune this car, uh, it might come up with a different spoiler, and it might be a green, you know, green spoiler that ends up with. So if we say save this to the current car, and then we'll go and jump into a different car. And so it's taking fifty three minutes to do this whole thing from scratch. Right. Obviously, if we were to do it again the same way, it would take another fifty three minutes, maybe less, because you know, a couple of weeks of uh, differences made and whatnot. But um, take fifty minutes at least. Um, so if we go and choose a different car, uh, let's choose one that I've not got. So let's go for specialty dealer. Let's go and get the Dodge Omni because it's a different shaped car, smaller, uh, but at the same time it's probably just this, maybe just this tall. Paint and customise. Paint the base layer first. So let's go for that as this we use the special colour. Because it's a green. Let's lighten. It's better. Right. Save the current car. There you go. Apply decals. So right side. Right, 
So there's a wee bit of, kind of moving around to do. I'll spin that to straighten up a bit. Get them around about the size that you want. Again, doesn't have to be perfect because you're because you're transferring on a different car. So um, then what we'll do is we ungroup and zoom in a wee bit. Move this to a slightly better position. And then we could even ungroup further. So if we get this sitting here ungroup that and move that just above the line. The dairy milk move away from the, the door a wee bit. And that will position we'll leave that just kinda in line with there. And uh, CG Valentin might have to Mm. Yeah, there's a position way there. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And, and then we can add a couple of extra ones if we want to add them. But just for the now, uh, top. Now, because we've resized it, make sure our lines are so basically what, what we want to do is we don't pay too much attention to what's on the bonnet so we don't need these lined up perfectly yet they're just kind of there in a rough position what we're doing is we're paying attention to our you know the lines on the roof so if we need to resize to get to match up then resize but again at the same time once we've ungrouped it, we can move the individual lines as well. So just thin that out a wee bit. And likewise, move this just a wee bit. And then the rest of it, put this here instead and maybe rotate it. And move it up above the vent. Stick it in the centre. And then again you could add another you know, another one into that blank space that's there. Again with this side. No, no, wrong one. Left. Again we're paying attention to the lines. But you can kind of Try and get them roughly in the right area. Right, so I want to make that a wee bit bigger. Uh, no, I want to make it smaller. Yeah, that's it. So I've got them lined up, and again at the top of the door. You're not going to see that too much. If you're a perfectionist like me, then yeah, it probably would bother you, but um, just for the time being, uh, it's not too bad. Position that, roughly where I want it and get it resized. Of course, what you could do is you could uh, just flip from the other side, um, and then what you have to do is you have to rotate it to match the right angle, and blah blah blah. Um, Doing it like that works just as fine. And the dairy milk we obviously want to keep off the green and away from the wheel arch. Position that around about there. Maybe resize a wee bit. And the other way of doing it as well uh, is resize that. Is to um, 
insert all from left right side and once you delete that that kind of gives you roughly where you want to be positioning I've noticed that this can be a bit off um, when you flip it to the opposite side but it just kind of gives you a rough idea of where you're positioning your your letter in so I want that sitting there and I want to resize it And then once you're happy with it, you just select everything that's mirrored and just delete. And the fudge we don't need on this car, so we could just delete that. Because there's nothing on the front. Can't really see anything there. Uh, and then we get to the rear. I've got another nice blank space where the number plate would be. Well done, Forza. So we'll leave. We'll leave. Uh, delete that. Position that there. Uh, leave that down the bottom because if we put a tune on it that removes the bumper. If we remove the bumper, it will show the bunch of twats racing uh, banner. So I could just leave that, and there we go. So it's taken less than ten minutes to put a rough livery onto this one. So we can save that, and then likewise we could do it again with another car. So I'll show you. I could show you what I did with with my ones. Right, so that's that's kinda of a rough idea of how Chris can do his uh, layer grouping uh, by saving them as a as a template. Um so if I get in fact if I remove everything off this car Now I'll go paint. I'll show you how I do mine. So uh, choose a silver base paint. Semi gloss. Either is a different one, just in case Chris watches this video and says, "Hey, I like that Do Dodge Omni. Go and share it." Uh, oh, come on! So load that. to apply decals right side wrong one Hold layer group oh the bit wrong here there we go right I've changed it ah right okay it's totally different Oh, I've lost them all. Oh wait, hold on. No, 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 it's the wrong one. Both layer group. Right, that one's just got the bunch of twats. Yeah, I must have saved over it. Because I've not I'm not using it as 
as much as uh, as I was on the created a yeah because I've I've pretty much painted all the cars that I wanted to paint and now I'm just uh, I went and deleted a lot of my my designs but anyway all right, right we'll just uh, we'll use that anyway. Right, so I'll move that to let's see there. Ungroup, then move that all together. Both layer group. Uh, top, and then what I do is I'll. The top's actually the most important with this this design because it's the uh, because it's based on the Scottish salt tire um, it's important to have those lines kinda in the middle of the the roof so it looks like the Scotland flag I'll position that there and then I'll go back to this side and select all and make sure my lines are kinda meeting on the top And that, that looks like the Scotland flag enough from the side. And then we'll go to this side, old layer grip. Same again. Left. Position that roughly where I want it. Uh, what, with this one, because I'm kind of going to be matching the back and the front as well, uh, something takes a bit of adjustment. Luckily, the front with this one doesn't matter too much because you don't really see anything. So, the front. So, I want the lines there and there. To kind of match, and that's about right. So the side, this side doesn't matter too much because it's kind of hidden by that bumper. Obviously, unless I put a tune on it, and then it's going to matter. Uh, so I can remove that, and I could even. Change the position of the, that line, just so it doesn't matter too much. And then likewise with the back load. One that I've got marked as rear. I'll get that line there, and then that line there. This one's a bit more awkward, so this one I might not need to spin a wee bit in order to get the top and both the sides matching up. So this one I might need to do a wee bit of fine tuning as well. So ungroup, get rid of the number plate because I don't need it. That line's fine. This one. Uh, spin and just add a wee bit extra. There, so it doesn't matter about the about the top because the top already matches. But underneath here, I'm just going to get that matching a bit better, and then I can even cheat by creating have that one underneath, change the colour of that, 
<coughs> oh, excuse me. Degree. And then that way, you know, it just it looks, from a glance, looks like it's silver. And then if I want to add... Um, I want to add... Uh, Bunch of twats logo, uh, right and left. Or even better, uh, load my there we go. Yeah, that one. Bogey and patrol. I put that there. Uh, remove it and then that creates a copy. Position it there. Position it there. And that's about it. Save the design catalog. And no, I don't even need to save the design catalog because it's saved to the current car and it will overwrite that one, the silver one. So that's how to how to create uh, kind of layer templates. Um, that you can then put onto different cars. So again, quickly, I could we'll do another very very quick one uh, with Chris's design. Uh, if I choose another car, uh, my garage. Uh, let's choose. Land Rover. It's a totally different shape. So, paint customize, uh, paint car, remove everything. Right, so, starting in 73 minutes through the stream. So, if we go paint, paint body. Special colours. Save the design catalog. Greenman. Because I want to keep my pie and beans. Again, my designs load that one. It's taking a minute so far. Apply decals, right hand side. Position it roughly where we think we're going to want it and then we'll worry about the about the size of the, the stickers in a minute on group drop that down a wee bit the dairy milk it's totally hidden, so let's just remove that altogether. Let's move CG Valentin along a wee bit. Position it there. And we'll worry about the rest of that in a second. Load layer group. Top. Two minutes. 
it's just not roughly where we want it. Resize it a bit. Ungroup. Shrink that down a wee bit. Position these in the centre. Left hand side. No one at the top. Do it again. Three minutes at staking now. Oh, shit. No one. Yeah, get the lines matched up. It's almost perfect. Ungroup. Position that there. Position that. Oh, wait a minute. What's happened here? Yeah, that's fine. Right, so we're in, we're in the door handle a wee bit here, but never mind. Could even just put that bang in the centre of the door and then move these. Put them there. And again, the dairy milk is hidden. Four minutes this is taking now. CG Valentine. Maybe you managed to put in the dairy milk underneath it. Remove the fudge. Position that back in the middle. Now the rear, and the rear will be totally different because it's a lot bigger. But because we've kind of got it, you know, we've made the, because we've made the, uh, the colour, you know, oversized, then it should be fine. And obviously this number plate, it's not correct, I've got, I've got a better one. Um, I've got square ones that are made up as well, so just put the dairy milk there. Chris loves Cadbury's. Put that up the top. Uh, This here than now, and just where I'm at it, load. Again, like this is the ones that I use for myself.
Oops, wrong one. Remove. And remove game. Zoom in. Forza England logo. Stick that there. Should be a bit thicker as well. That'll do. Oh, a minute. And then with the front, there's not really anything that you could put in the front anyway, so that doesn't matter. Uh, save the design catalogue. No, I don't need to. I could just save it as is. Save the current car. And there you go, it's taken under 10 minutes, plus a wee bit farting around with the number plate there to make one for for in the Land Rover. So that's how easy you can make it um, by creating your own kind of um, layer templates. Um, now obviously it's it's easier creating yourself rather than getting somebody to make one um, because then uh, you're able to ungroup it and able to navigate uh, each one of the, um, each one of the, you know, the advertisements and whatnot. Uh, so, for the right hand side one, you could add extra ones to it, and then save it. You know, you could take ones off it and save it, and then, then that way you've got your own your own ones there. So So if I have a look at some of my other designs on other cars uh, I'm going to put my pie and beans one back on Feel the cry, the cry for pie. Uh, my, no, I don't have any in there. Um. This one's kind of a. I've just made slight adjustments to the two. So I've got a B class and a C class one. Uh, my mini, uh, I've got. And uh, in there. Mitsubishi's got the Scotland design on it. So the original one that I had. You know, I've loaded up the one that had the Bunchy Twats racing logo on it. Uh, originally I did have it so that it was the the cross and then the, um, the Alpine, Recaro, uh, you know, the manufacturers down the, the front of the door. I had that all saved as the one layer so then I would transfer that. Um, and then likewise with the, the top and the bonnet. Um, that was all kind of saved as a group. Uh, there's my pie and beans racing livery, which I've also got on there. So it's kind of the, the same kind of layout, but just tweaked slightly. Um, Scotland design on my Renault Sport. 
Reno 5. Uh, Reno Clio, sorry. Uh, and likewise the same on the Reno Alpine. Uh, Tassimo, Resimo. Uh, same with these ones, I've got the same kind of Same kind of rusty design, uh, which was tweaked slightly, uh, and then all I did was kind of navigated it around the doors. Um, uh, I've sold a lot of my cars because I don't use, you know, I had like 700 cars, but I never used any of them, so I've just kind of kept the ones that I do use. So again, there's another one of my Scotland designs. Um, and another one. That's just a basic design because um, I didn't really use this car. I just bought it just for, a, for an event I was taking part in. The pie and beans. And again, I've done the same kind of thing with, with that. Uh, as I did with other ones, um, but I've masked off bits to leave the uh, the wheel arches. Um, uh, and then obviously we get to the dodge that we've just done. So another kind of good way. Like if you've got the if you've got the layer group saved, um, you know your basic layer group, uh, you know for the body. Like I say, I've got my uh, the kind of salt tire uh, layouts that you've seen when I apply to the Dodge. So I can have that. So I'll load them on, and then once I've loaded them on, I've got ones that I've got saved. Not used for a while, where are they? Um, just the thing about trying to find so many. I've got ones there, but that's not the ones I was looking for. Is it? Oh, come on. There you go. Right, so I've got these. So it just looks like a massive mess. But once you've loaded your base coat on it, you know, your base design, so be it the These are showing it rather than so my garage. So if I load up that Audi that I said I hadn't put anything else on, uh, find the Audi. Get in car, paint customize, paint car. So I don't know. I've got something on the bonnet, but right, so. I'll go load and I find wherever it went. Don't make me look for it again. There. So I'll load up the white one. And ungroup. So this here I can remove. And that there would go on the bonnet. So obviously I've already got some manufacturers on the bonnet. But I've got them kind of roughly set to the the right angle that I want on the bonnet. So if I remove that, there you go. There's the bonnet ones. The Dunlop one, it's going to need a wee bit of an outline added to it, but we'll just leave it there now. Uh, this here... I've got two different versions of it, depending on which I want to put on the car. So the two like and subscribes. 
So I'll just adjust that to whatever size I want. Actually, I think I'll use the other one. And I think I'll position it here. Now the other thing with this, I'll show you in a second. So ungroup this one. So here's my alpine and everything like that. So select them and position them here. Now again, you can't see some of them because of the, the white stripe. But I'll address that in a second. Um, Brembo stuck across here. Iron Brew. Uh, I'll put above it. Bowstein stuck across here. Snap on. Put it there. Don't want that one. Don't need that one. Adidas. And then there's my like and subscribe. So what we want to do is focus on this bit here. So these are okay. Um, that I need to change to white. And all the black bits and then these white bits, I want to change to blue. I don't want to leave them black, I want to change them to blue. So ungroup. And I'll just leave them. And then these ones. Ungroup. So obviously you can't do this unless you've made your your own uh, decals yourself, um, and then go along to the blues and try and find one which matches. Closely matches the uh, the colour that you've got in your car, so that'll do. Now, as you can see, that's one side done. And you could just yeah, unhighlight all layers. other side, flip it, and then position it where you want it. And then obviously, you know, you can see the the blue bit in the YouTube logo. It's now going to need to be darker to kind of blend in with that bit. But you get the idea. So that's that's how I do my. Uh, that's how we do my layer groups. So, um, hope you found it um, helpful or interesting. 
Uh, if you've made it this far, then uh, let me know because you're then a true uh, um, a true viewer. Um, if you switched off before the, you know, if you switched off when you got everything that you needed, um, then thanks for watching anyway. But uh, you're not as much of a fan as whoever's listening to this. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you later.